Yeah, but that's just because. Just because. People are buying guns uh, like crazy. Uh, the the uh, stocks of all the guns, like Ruger and Smith and Wesson, and all that stocks have gone up. They got back back. Uh, the inventory, inventory is backed up. They can't ship the guns. Welcome to Nashville Armory. I'm going to take you a quick uh, walk around the construction site. Uh, on the right-hand side, it's like you're coming into the entranceway, right-hand side, we're going to have all the display cases. Uh, we're going to have uh, leather chairs in there, high-def TV, so people can sit and watch uh, people shoot. That's be pretty exciting for them. And then inside here, this is, uh, we have two bays. I mean, the average American knows that President Obama uh, isn't going to take away people's guns. Uh, you know, he's been out there talking about his fundamental respect for the Second Amendment. Um, the, the gun lobby is trying to use the very fact that he has done nothing uh, to take away people's guns in his first term as the very evidence of why he's going to do that in his second term. I started in my closet above my dental office and after hours met people and sold stuff and I realized very quickly that it was going to be a lot more than that. I put this on but it comes just like that. It's got a clip that holds 30. With the concealed carry law going in effect last November and the elections come up this fall, people are really have turned on to firearms and it's, uh, it's been unbelievable. Way better than I ever thought it'd be. all been based on the fact that you know sure. there's the threat of our government trying to take away that right from us so we wanted to make sure that we had it all taken care of before they pull the plug on it. I hear so much controversy out there about guns this, guns that, pro this, pro that, and uh, I don't, I, I certainly have my opinions. I kind of keep those to myself and I didn't buy the gun for uh, safety issues, for political issues. I bought it for my own self. In most of the gun shops I've been to, you'll find a lot of funny posters. I saw one the other day that it had a picture of Obama and it said gun salesman of the year. And, and a lot of people, if Romney's elected, they'll feel a little safer about their gun purchases. They'll feel as though that no one's going to come knocking on their door one day and telling them that they can't own what they've already bought or, or there's not going to be any extra restrictions. But if Obama has a second term, a lot of times in a second term, a president knows it's his last term, and so he might be a little bit more radical. President Obama's leadership on this issue has been a disappointment overall. Um, you know, he's, it's clear that he knows in his heart what the right thing is to do. We've definitely see, seen a rise in gun sales, but I don't necessarily know if that's just because of an election year or it's just a sign of the times where people really are wanting to exercise their Second Amendment right and learn how to protect themselves. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. 